So we've agreed the league magnet's useless without content to support it. Yeah. So I would suggest that having a posting schedule is very important. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, especially if you're not consistent on Instagram or like, sorry, not consistent on your social media. Yeah. Like you have to create a schedule, man. Like, has it any different to like a client who's not consistent with their meals? Yeah. You would say to them like plan forward think your feeding times yeah even if they're not consistent with the workouts what do you say to your client like when are you going to train book it into your schedule yeah posting is exactly the same yeah I, I i in the workshop yesterday looked at it like a program yeah it's like you guys don't walk into the gym and be like what am i going to train today yeah just going to use the cables for half now yeah and you've all done it when you go on holidays and you don't have a program where well, the gym's different you're like oh, fuck, I don't know. yeah and you have like the most mid-workout yeah ever. it's shit yeah yeah, and then you're like, ah, it wasn't that good. And then maybe yeah. you miss the next day or whatever. Mm. So the same thing happens on socials. Yeah. If you have to constantly think about it, what do I need to do? What should I post? What's the right thing to post? It's a fucking nightmare. Agreed. If you sit down and write down a schedule, then you've got some hope. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's done, but you've got some hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what we do is take that lead magnet and break it into four sections. Yes. Those four sections will usually just be the topics covered. Yeah, in it. overarching. Yeah, so most of, ours are act- most of ours are actually the same four categories. Mm. Goals, training, nutrition, measure. Mm. It's yeah, kind of... Results kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it's like that's, the, fo- that's the, de- the default and then it's like to build muscle, to lose body fat, to lift heavier, to whatever. Like that's yep. the structure that we follow. So then you've got that broken down. So then you just go, okay, so week one, I'm talking about the goals part. Yep. And I'm either going to talk about it, gold standard, I think, is four times yep. with two lifestyle posts. Mm. I would say that's gold standard of if you're just posting if, frequency. If you're, like, that's just the thing, if that's the one thing you do, yeah. 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 You could do two. Two and two would also work. Like, if you're doing none, it's like two's, it's two's better than none. Yeah. Another little hack that we've tried with like busy people, gym owners and stuff like that, um, people that have full books that are just trying to move online or whatever and content isn't something that they can sit down and do a lot of mm. or they find it overwhelming, there's lots of friction early, they're still trying to figure it out, is for four posts, only do two topics. Yeah. And do two pieces of content on the one topic. Just double up on it, yeah. Real yeah. in a real in a carousel. Yeah. Easiest cheat code ever. Hundred percent. Real goes out one day, swipe post goes out the next day. Um, and we reiterate this a lot. Every time we do the workshop, I'm like, So I've been doing this for six months. Does anyone notice? No. <laughs> like and then I'll bring up my Instagram, be like, see this post, see this post, they're the same. Yeah. And people be like, Exactly. Oh, wow. One's in word and one is speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe change the hook a little bit. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually doing blog, real, swipe. Yep. The same. That was my three posts for the week on one topic. Yeah. So whatever you're willing and able to commit to for the week, set that. Also identify, like it was interesting yesterday. I got the guys to, we haven't done this in a workshop before say what type of post they were going to be usually we just do the hooks so first I was like create your schedule what are you posting how many reels are you committing to still image yeah. carousel whatever what's it actually going to be and people were so vague man it's like oh it should be reels I'll do reels and carousels yeah. it's just like when you get to Monday so much friction decision making that I need to do to should this be oh. Maybe this one works better. It's like, nah. Yeah. It's this. Yeah, go back a couple of steps and be more convicting. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're going to do real carousel, real carousel for your four posts, how long would do you reckon that takes? So, how long would it take you to make two reels, two carousels if they're the same topic? Um, the reels would take probably 40 minutes each by the mm-hmm. time you record it, edit it. That's know. spoken? Yeah. 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 40 minutes each. Uh, that's like spoken, like filmed, spoken, edited. You know, thumbnail, yeah. everything, most of the time. And then you could probably halve that time for the slides, for the carousel, because template's yeah, already least. there. Yeah. Because the branding kit's done. Mm-hmm. So then you just, yeah, template, 
same yeah same and yeah, yeah leaning on um chat gpt about the because if you've spoken it mm. you know exactly what the key points are so then you can take those key points and make them into swipes yeah and then you just take the the swipe over to canva and it's done so yeah. it's like or if you're an over talker you do it the other way yeah absolutely make your carousel the key points of yeah, your reel. absolutely yeah yeah either either or to be fair yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i've been using a transcribing ai mm. And then I'm like, take the transcribing and then I summarize it. Yep. And then I can take that summary and, and then, yeah, yeah, it's cool. I like so you can go either way. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like the organic conversation first. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel I'm this like that rather than yeah. like, and then the language I can only better. talk about this stuff. Like if it's brief for me, I can, like I don't, I feel like I just got to get it out and just blurt out like mm. some brief shit and I'm not as creative. Yeah. But yeah, but that, yeah, I haven't done a, a reel in a while because I've just been busy pumping results out. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> it's like I'm riding the wave at the moment I'm just yeah. you know but I'll go back I've already got like the next campaign and it will be yeah I, I also I don't know about you like I just get this like itch to start making value based content when I haven't for a bit yeah I'm in it now yeah yeah I, yeah, I want to but I'm, I just don't have the like, when am I gonna yeah yeah I'm yeah. so I don't know if it's because of comps or just in general I'm just I'm so excited about powerlifting right now well, not even powerlifting just like lifting weights yeah barbells yeah not in barbells just lifting <laughs> yep it's like I'm just really good at those so mm -hmm. it's exciting to talk about yeah man 100% it's always great to talk about your job when you love it yeah I think you know yeah it's a, it's people want to see our passion the passion I reckon yeah like you can just tell the ones that have just gotten a system but aren't in it yeah like you, you can tell people who have worked out Instagram and people who, are, who love their job yeah that's a I, great great analogy yeah and yeah. I want to be the person who loves his job because yeah. I still love my job, man. Like I know yeah. there's people that want to get into, they get their business to a level where they step can back. step back and like, you know, just maybe pursue other things. Mm. Um, and that's fine for them. I'll, I fucking love coaching people, man. Yeah. I fucking love it so much. Yeah. So I just want that to come out. Yeah. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Cool. So you got a lead magnet that was, is a client resource repurposed to give away. You've selected what your posts are going to be for the week. Yeah. Now all you have to do is take the first topic. That's week one. Second yep. topic, week two. For an organic campaign, in our experience, eight weeks. Eight weeks is good. Four weeks for paid. Paid. We're actually running the learn one for six and splitting it. Yeah. So we're in the first three unpaid, second three paid. You guys are probably seeing the ads right now. <laughs> Fucking buy the sales presentation. <laughs> um. And that seems to be working pretty well because it got built, yeah. kind of built a bit of exposure and then yeah. pushed it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, these guys have been talking about sales for a bit. Ah, oh, now there's a product. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll test that moving forward mm. with the next ones as well. I think eight weeks is good organically because it gives you time to like fulfill the needs of that campaign and then also time to just like start to that. You just start that process of what's next mm. where like, if you do it four weeks, then you're like, oh, fuck, I've got to get another campaign ready. And, yeah. and you still got you're to fulfill- always making one. And you've got to fulfill the demands of the current campaign. Yeah. The posting schedule, the CTAs and the story. Like, yeah. that's where the overwhelm comes from, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. we were having like two to four dead weeks usually. Yeah. yeah. Where it was just like, get something out and yeah. then we'll launch the next campaign. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Where if you go for a longer campaign, it gives you a little bit more time to think about what you're going to do next, actually make something of higher quality. Yeah. And then- there's nothing wrong with having like a brief period where you're not giving away anything. Mm. I think that's a perfect time just to kind of push. If coaching. you do need coaching, if you do yeah. need clients, like really being dialed in on just like, hey, like I've got spots and I'm the person for you. Like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, you know. And then yeah, then you can have that that ne that that's like the bridge, mm -hmm. and then move into the next campaign, which is you know high value free shit. Yeah, mm. couple of hours I would say to make all that content. Yeah. I would suggest you set a day and you make it mm. beforehand. With the learn one, it's hard because we're a team, obviously. It makes it a little bit yeah. easier. Yeah, agreed. And we have like the gym and... Yeah. Like we we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just more just like I was pretty cooked. Like I said to the guys, like I made 16 reels and whatever swipes in a day. And one of the guys was just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Because I scripted them all. Wrote every single one out. Oh, and the six YouTube videos as well. Yeah. If you're not on our YouTube channel, you're sleeping 
right now. Yeah, there's so a ton of out, value going on there. Putting out sales videos every week on top of the podcast. SDC Learn. Top YouTube, of the clips. At SDC Learn. Get on, subscribe, you yep. dogs. Yeah. Yeah. It's free. <laughs> free value. <laughs> um, so I was like, fuck. And I, I'm looking at the squat stuff now. All day yesterday, I was trying to find an AI software that could yeah. depth it's, change. Yeah. Editing the videos is... Yeah. So I was just like... It's just... I'm going to do all the work. JC, you edit them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Um, <laughs> but for the learn one, because you get paid on that too. <laughs> yeah, I'll the squat on, but nah, so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do so that too. I was going to get a quote off Tam, but I'm too scared to ask him. <laughs> if you keep asking him to do other shit, you can't. <laughs> if we can find another editor, that'd be great. Yeah. So I would lean in on that too. Yeah. So, and like his work's not, his workload's only going up as well. So, yeah. We could probably get someone on part time. Mm. There's anyone out there? Yeah. If it's a bit of ca- your test run is yeah. ca- the casual work with the option. Like, yeah, what is it? Two, four. I think I've got 70 reels. That's, yeah. that's your. That's a good uh, litmus test. That's your interview. Yeah, it's your orientation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not getting paid for them. It's an internship. You do all 70 for free. <laughs> if we yeah. like them, then you yeah. will, will pay you. STC <laughs> me- Media Internship, right? In- internship is the best way to talk to, to say- Get f- people to do heaps of free shit for work, nothing. Free work. <laughs> <laughs> but reach out if you want to edit yeah. my videos. Remember, it's for your future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like eight. Oh, fuck. There's probably 10 YouTube videos per guide too. So there's 30 yeah. of those. If we did, in all seriousness, if we had another person, we would lean into everything way more. For sure. So it might be worth it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah like in all seriousness. Apply. You, you want to work for free. Apply you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know when like the, I don't know if you've ever dealt with like international editors. They send nah, you like can't. five seconds of a reel. Mm. Mark, bro, show me the whole thing. I'm not going to use it. Just show me the whole thing. Yeah. It's like, show me you're good. It's like me sending you one work out of a program. It's like, yeah, I had a girl ask me to see one of my programs the other week. No surprise, she didn't sign up. I'm like, I can't. This, it's not, it's not for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's strange. So, yeah, editing takes a little bit of time. Bulk creating like that can be overwhelming. Yeah. So, yeah, like we said, that one was six YouTube videos, sixteen reels, and six swipe posts. Written, scripted, filmed, edited, captioned, yeah. uploaded. We chose to... The reason I scripted it was because I can then use the script as the caption. Yeah. Because it plays into the CEO, at uh, the CEO, the SEO. Yeah. Um, if I put what I actually said in the video in of course. the caption... Yeah, it's got to be... Gonna, like yeah, personal trainer, sales, shit, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like it, it all... Yeah, gets out a bit more. Kind of works. Um. But that means you can't just turn the camera on and free record. Yeah, which means it's got to be methodical. Writing them took me three, four Consistent, hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, but the next time you do it, it won't take that long. No, I think it will. To be honest, yeah, okay. I think that's just how long it takes. To, well, a day's worth of work to you know take, four hours for six weeks of content. Yes, fuck me. You, you, if you do it yeah. every week, it'll take way more than that. Yeah. So that's the challenge, right? It's like looking at that. So for this campaign that we're talking about, I also did. Uh, the sales page copy, yeah. The welcome email copy, the call to yeah. action emails, the post opt in emails. Yeah, it doesn't factor in the editing time either. The YouTube me. and all the editing. Yeah, it's, I spent a couple of hours doing that. Yeah, and the thumbnails and shit. Do you like my thumbnail? They're fucking good. Thank you. I'm I just copied. Fan. I just copied ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. they look good, and nice. I like the different text. Yeah, they show up now on the like scrolling oh. through the Instagram. You can see. Yeah, there's what's not different. ten. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Thank you. Because like that's not a podcast one. That's all the validation I yeah. needed. I'm thinking Tam's not in here, but I reckon our behind the scenes ones. Yeah. So we should have a podcast real cover. Yeah, and then the BTS should be different. a value real cover, and yeah. then a behind the scenes real cover. I like that. Yeah. Just so you, when you land on the page, you're like, oh, there's different shit. Yeah, it's not all the same. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I just thought of it just now. Sometimes this podcast is for us as much as it <laughs> this, is for this you guys. Is, this- Black magic. <laughs> it's really working for me right yeah. now. Um, cool. So, yeah, your choice is bulk create. Yeah, or... Or I used to do every Monday. Yep. Yeah, Monday I, was I content day. Usually two hours. Mm. Um, most of the blogs I had, fortunately, come from other content. Yeah. And then I just have to 
play with chat GPT for long enough to get it somewhere that it it's usable. Yeah, I'd yeah. Like, basically I would take old content that I wrote that was too complex, put it in there, rewrite this. I had a couple that I like trialed. I sent the new one. Now I sent the old one. Like which one's better? They're like the first one. I would never have read the second one. Like I'll just go fuck myself. Yeah, <laughs> that for like four years, but <laughs> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but like you say all the time, it's hard because I couldn't write the short one without the big one. Yeah, that's necessary. Mm. That's why you just lean into the thing you're going to, like, whatever the fuck it is, doing something. Just yeah. do it, you know, you'll get better. Yeah. Yeah, because like all those articles we wrote, we're so better at, at communicating and so much better at understanding the things that we do day to day as coaches because we did that. Correct. So even if no one reads it, it's like write the guide, write the book write your method from start to finish, write 12 months of programming for your ideal client. Yeah. Yeah, it, it takes time. Yeah, it might not pay off instantly, but it will pay off yeah. somewhere else down the line. Yeah, even just in confidence. Absolutely. Everything. If nothing else. Yeah. Decision making, confidence. If your confidence is higher, you know? your sales is better, your attention is better, your results yeah. are better. Yeah. Like, it's just that You can't line. put that kind of deliberate work in and it just not serve you at some point. So yeah. if you are in it for the long haul and you do want to be the best, like that's how that's how everybody's... Mm. Most people have laid their paths that way. Yeah. Yeah. They've written a manual. They've written whatever. No yeah. one, I've written so much stuff no one will ever see. Yeah. You go on my Google Drive, there's so much stuff that just people haven't seen. Yeah. And it's like, you know, partly my personality of starting something and then just walking away from it when it's 75% <laughs> finished and then moving on to something else. Yeah. But it's like that I know all of those things. There's something of value that I bring today because, you because did I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Take Bulk, it, yeah. Just go learn to take action. Just the only thing I would say is don't do it every day. No, 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 not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Try and find a part of the week where you are at your best for that particular task. Mm. And then just go in and that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Where you're at that zone of genius. Yeah. Mine's just for the learn ones, because so we're, we're talking about that campaign. Yeah. Monday, yep. open them all up. Download cover photo, download reel, yep. copy paste the script, yep. edit the script to sound like a caption, mm. send that all to myself on WhatsApp, download, save, copy, paste, draft. I do that for all three, done. Yep. It takes me 15 minutes. I like it to have those three posts done. Sounds great. Mm. I wish we could do that with, I wish it was easier. I wish you could automate CTAs. Yeah. It's the one thing I forget to do all the time. Just remind people to buy the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. So the purpose of all of this, you made a lead magnet that was good. You made content that tied into the lead magnet. Each week was on, aligned with the topic. You get to week five, you go back to week one, mm -hmm. go through it. After eight weeks, the casual viewer that sees one or two of your four posts a week is even there starting to get to the impression now that if I wanted to get, what have we got now? The fat loss cheat sheet? Yes. If I wanted to lose body fat and get in shape for summer, STC yeah. is a group of people that could do that. Agreed. We've laid in our before and afters go out once a week. A couple of other collab posts with the other trainers go out once a week. Training content. It's like, there. that's the spot. Yeah. That's all you're trying to do. We had, like one of them yesterday was like a free seven day strength program. Leverage that for the next eight weeks to be like, if I want a introductory level strength program, yeah. for someone who's just figuring out the barbell and still getting rid of the squat pad and all that kind of shit, you're the person. Yes. You're the coach I want to work with. Yeah, agreed. That's, that's what it all is. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> All of that, in my opinion, I know you're in a position at the moment that you don't need to do this. Most trainers that I engage with, and I would say even for myself at different times, only get traction if they speak to people. Yeah. So all of that is great, but still don't expect people to just be like, hey, personal trainer from the internet, can you coach me? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work like that. Like like you said, most of yours now is coming from social proof, from referrals, from mm. I know this guy, I know whatever. If you don't have that happening, mm. yeah. you got to be in the DMs. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's not sending fucking 80 cold DMs to the request bank. Yeah. It's someone engages with you, you respond. Yeah. And then you've got this library of evidence that you're good at your job. You interact with them. You be a real person. Mm. You start to get clients. Yep. Agreed. <laughs>